Hey everybody, it's Karen, and today I'm making kimchi. Alright, here's my Napa cabbage. And right here is what I'm starting. The, um, the cabbage and the salting. And here's my, my onions. And my garlic. I don't have fresh ginger, so I'm just using this. I don't have fresh peppers either, so I'm using this. Alright, so far I have begun to salt my cabbage. I will update you later. Okay, so now I have my cabbage done. If you can see that. Now I'm going to take four cups of water and I'm going to submerge it and put a plate on it, you know, weigh it down, put it in the fridge and wait, you know, overnight. Pooey. Or, you know, six hours, which I assume, I don't know. I'm going to see how it is in six hours. And if it's not the way I want it, I'll wait longer. Right. Okay, so I just finished rinsing off my cabbage. There's the water, and I'm going to begin cutting my onions and putting in my spices. Hello? Okay, so the directions say to chop up three stalks of green onions. So I'm going to do that. Sorry if the lighting sucks. Yep, the onions. This is difficult. Okay. I'm just gonna decide which ones I want. Which I mean they're onions. Can't be that hard, but I'm gonna be picky. I don't want that one. I want a firm stock. Here we go. Three stocks. Just go back in the package. And I am going to chop these up. First I'm going to cut off the ends because I don't want to eat the roots. Hmm. How do I set the there's my onions. Um, have you seen me do this? So I'm just gonna take a picture. Okay, so I'm finished chopping the onions. So I'm gonna get started on my spice mix mixture. I'm going to use crushed red pepper flakes since I don't have fresh ground ginger since it was so expensive. So I'm just on the cheap stuff. But I do have fresh garlic. I have to find it. Bear with me. Ah, found it. I'm going to need five cloves of this. So, just a second. Okay, so this is my garlic, and I'm starting to rip the skin off. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. And this is a clove. I need five of these. So I am going to get four more, and I'll check back in with you. Okay, so after much peeling, Ta-da! Here it is. And here's the skin. Ew. I'm going to clean that up. And then I'm going to chop them and get all my ingredients measured out so I can make the spice mixture. Hey, I just want to make a little side note on this garlic. The skin is kind of hard to peel off. So if you're having trouble, what I'm doing is taking a knife and kind of digging under the skin. And that helps. So, I already have three. Ooh, look at my vegetables. Alright, back to 
the cutting. Okay, so here are my ingredients. The three stalks of green onions, the five cloves of garlic. Um, this recipe calls for one to two dried red peppers, but since I couldn't find any of those at my store, um, I just went for like, like half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes because I'm a pansy. Alright, this is two tea. Okay, so this is one teaspoon of ginger. It calls for ground fresh ginger, grated fresh ginger, but that was really expensive, so I just went for the spice. This is two teaspoons of sugar, and this is three tablespoons of salt. Alright, so I, sorry you're looking at my keyboard, look at my ingredients. Um, I need to finally chop these and then I'm going to mix them all together and then I am going to soak my cabbage in them. Alright, so I'm going to get to mixing. Okay, so this is finally chopped. Well, as finely as I could get it. So now I am going to mix all my ingredients together. Let's do that then. Okie dokie. So I'm going to mix all this together and then add it to my cabbage. Yeah, my hands are sticky. Ew, garlic is sticker. No, this is green onions. Yep. Why don't you put the uh, sound on? It is on. Okay, so after you chop up your cabbage and stuff, start mixing it into the spice mixture and try to coat it as evenly as possible, which I am doing a terrible job of right now, but I'm trying. This is my first time making kimchi, so I'm not expecting perfection. It's going to get dirty, and if, you're, if your hands can't handle this kind of irritation, Wear gloves. The kimchi I'm making isn't supposed to be red. It's supposed to be green. So if you're making the kind I am, don't expect it to look like what other kimchis look like. it up so that it'll fit in the jar. The jar is not that big, so. Okay. okay, I think I've coated this as evenly. Oh wait, I got some more at the bottom. Okay. I've coated this as evenly as I possibly can. So dry off my hands and take my jar I'm going to start putting my kimchi in here squish it down
squishing. We don't want to pack too much in there, so let's see. Pack in the loose stuff. There's some spices at the bottom, so I'm gonna pack those in there. And your cabbage will release some liquid, and that's perfectly okay. it in there. Try not to spill it all over yourself. And I'm going to take some of the water from before the brine that you made earlier. And add a little bit of that. All right. And once you're done with that, Tap it. And either store it away from sunlight or in your fridge for two to three days. And that's how you make kimchi.